so hey everyone welcome back to the channel in this video we will be solving the problem find the closest pair from two arrays so let's read the problem statement out so we are given two arrays arr and brr and a number x find the pair whose sum is closest to x and the pair has an element from each array in the case of multiple closest pairs return any of them the output represents the closest difference of the sum with the number x so basically let's say if my array is like this 1 4 5 7 and 10 20 30 40 and x is going to be 32 now we can pick a pair such that we can pick 1 from here and we can pick 30 so overall the sum is going to be 31 and that is closest to 32 and our output is going to be the difference between them but here if it is written like you need to return the array of two integers whose sum is closest to x okay so basically we will be returning the two integers one from array a and one from array b and the expected time complexity for this problem is going to be order of max of n comma m where n and m is the length of array a and array b respectively and the expected space complexity for this problem is going to be order of one so let's discuss this problem in more detail so let's say my array a is 145 and the array b is 10 20 and 30 and x is going to be 32 okay now the brute force approach in order to solve this problem is that you can make every pairs so one can combine with 10 20 and 30 similarly 4 can combine with 10 20 and 30 and 5 can combine with 10 20 and 30 and you can check for the closest difference okay every time you make a pair check for the closest difference if that closest difference is lesser than all the closest differences so let's say we take a variable int minimum difference okay and let's maximize it initially so that that is going to be maximum till now okay and every time we check for a pair we will be updating it so let's say you are iterating for i equal to 0 till i less than n minus 1 and similarly for j equal to 0 and j less than m minus 1 okay or equal to m minus 1 and you can check if array of i plus brr of j is less than my minimum difference till now okay so we can update our minimum difference basically this will the minimum difference will be nothing but x minus array of i plus brr of j so minimum difference will be nothing but x minus array of i plus brr of j and what will be the two elements the element one is going to be nothing but array of i and element two is going to be nothing but brr of j and in this way you can solve the problem but in this case our time complexity is going to be nothing but order of n cross m because we are using two nested for loops okay and the space complexity is going to be order of one but we need to optimize this so we need some way by which we can iterate on both the arrays and at the same time we don't use this for loop okay so let's see how can we optimize that so let's say my array a is 1 4 5 and my array b is 10 20 and 30 okay so let's take a pointer i which will be pointing to the first element of array a and let's take a pointer j which will be pointing to the last element of array b okay now let's take the sum of them and my x for this is going to be 32 so my sum is going to be nothing but 31 okay and as you know we need to find the closest sum so the closest sum can be positive as well as lesser than our x okay for example our closest sum can be 33 also or 31 also basically it can be greater or it can be smaller okay and my x was going to be 32 so let's take a closest difference okay and initialize it to int maximum initially and what we can do we can check if my current difference okay the current difference will be nothing but absolute value of x minus my sum sum was equal to array of i plus brr of j okay so if absolute value of x minus sum means our current difference 
is lesser than our closest difference then in that case what we can do we can update our closest difference to absolute value of x minus sum what does this line indicate this indicates that we have got a pair whose sum is going to be closest to my element x okay so we will update the closest difference we can update our element 1 by array of i and element 2 by array of g okay this can be one of the case but let's say there can be one condition where my sum is lesser than x okay so in this case what we need to do we need to increase our sum so that we can reach closest to x okay so when we need to increase our sum what we can do see i is pointing here we can increment i right so let's increment our i okay and if my sum is greater than x okay what we can do we can decrement j why we need to get closest to x we need to reduce our sum so in order to reduce our sum we can decrement our j so j minus minus okay so in this way we can use both the elements from array a and array b and get closer to our x okay so let's do a dry run so let's say my array was 145 and turn 20 30 and my closest difference till now is going to be int maximum okay now first of all i will be pointing to this and j will be pointing to this my sum is going to be nothing but 31 closest difference is going to be absolute value of 32 minus 31 which is going to be 1 since 1 is less than my closest difference which is initially int max so we will update our closest difference okay to 1 means we have got a pair which is closest to x till now okay so we will update this element 1 is going to be nothing but 1 element 2 is going to be nothing but 30 okay now my sum is lesser than x now what we need to do we need to increment our i so let's increment i so here i is going to be 4 and j is going to be 30 my sum is going to be 34 and we take the difference of sum and x okay so x is going to be 32 the difference is going to be 2 is it lesser than my closest difference till now my closest difference will be updated here to 1 in the last step it is not lesser than so we will not do anything is my sum greater than x yes so what we can do we can decrement j okay in order to reduce our sum so now let's take the sum of both of them so 20 plus 4 is going to be 24 the difference will be 32 minus 24 which is going to be 8 is my closest difference lesser than 8 no so we will not do anything so here sum is going to be 24 so we will be increasing our sum so that we can reach a possibility ki hamara sum x k aas paas aa jaye theek hai so let's increment our i so 20 plus 5 is again going to be 25 difference is going to be 7 is 7 lesser than 1 no we will not update our closest difference what is the sum now it is going to be 25 so when sum is lesser we need to increment our i but at this point of time we can't increment our i because we have already reached the last element so we will break out of the loop now we have got our element 1 we have got our element 2 simply push that into your answer and return your answer okay so you can return your answer so what we did we take two pointers so what we did here we took element i which will be pointing to array a is first index j will be pointing to last element of array b okay and we iterated till the point while i is lesser than n which is the size of array a and j is greater than equal to zero because we need to take every possibility okay now first of all we have calculated the sum my sum was nothing but array of i 
plus BRR of J and we took the dip closest difference. Okay? So how can you find that closest difference? That will be nothing but absolute value of X minus sum. We will check if that is lesser than my previous closest. If yes, we will take the minimum. We will update element 1. We will update element 2. Okay? Now, two conditions can appear like sum can be lesser than or equal to or sum can be greater than. Okay? If sum is lesser than x, we need to increase our sum. So, we incremented i. Okay? Otherwise, we can decrement j. Right? So in this way, we can use two pointer technique in order to solve our problems. Okay. So whenever you get a question like there are two elements and you need to find the closest difference or the maximum height difference. Okay. For example, there is a problem like there are two towers, right? And there are main, mainly many towers. So you need to find the maximum amount of water which can be stored. So you need to check for every building and their difference. Okay. So in these types of problems, we generally use a two-pointer technique. And that's the reason why I have used a two-pointer technique in order to solve the problem. So I hope you have understood the problem. Let's discuss the implementation. So here, first of all, I have taken a start which will be pointing to the first element of array A and it will be pointing to the last element of array B. My element one is going to be int min, my element two is going to be int min. Just we have initialized it to int min okay and nothing special about it and closest difference is going to be int max so we will assume that our difference is going to be maximum initially and every time you get a lesser value than this we will be updating it while start is less than n and end is greater than equal to zero we will be taking the sum which will be nothing but arrow start plus brr of end and absolute difference will be nothing but absolute value or absolute difference between the sum and x okay the difference of both of them now we will check if absolute difference is going to be lesser than closest difference in that case we will be updating our closest difference my element 1 will be updated to array of start my element 2 will be updated to brr of end because these two elements are taken into consideration for now if my sum is greater than x we can reduce our end if my sum is smaller than x we can increment our start okay and answer dot pushback element one and answer dot pushback element two this way we can get our answer if you have any doubts write it down in the comments do like this video if you have understood share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching